Hi SD Catholic Educators, this is Julie Cantillon and I'm going to show you how to use the Quick Narrative Generator. When you open the doc, you'll see row number two here has sample student information already pre-entered. That's the information that we're going to change to reflect the progress of our students. You'll also see a large white space. This will be your printable space for the report card. The information in the white box will be saved as a PDF for you to easily send to the family. Okay, when I look at this doc too, I want to customize some of the information before I start working. So I could use my school logo, school name, address, etc. I'm also going to enter my student's grade that I teach, as well as my teacher name. I'll use Mrs. Noya. Then I'm going to work in this row in order to update the information that will end up appearing in my white box. So the sample student's name right now says Jenny Smith. I'm going to change it to myself. You'll see when I entered my name, it automatically updated in the white space below. These are my pronouns. I might want to start with all of my girls or all of my boys in order to make it simpler so I don't have to change the pronouns each time. Now I'm going to go through each column and I'm going to select one of the options. So I'm going to go through just going to randomly select for now so you can get the idea. You'll see when something has a blank at the end, that means it needs to be customized. So I'll show you how to do that. Do this to help. And then it ends with the supporting statement. Okay, you'll see that, that all of my selections, all the comments that I chose, now appear here in the box below. Now I want to show you something else you can do too. These comments are pretty general and if you'd like to make them more specific, you edit them on the tab below. So I just clicked on the tab called RC Narrative Comments. Note, uh, if you do edit the comments, please follow the instructions over here. But I can add up to three comments in each of the columns. So there's a red line telling you where to, where to stop because if you enter below, it will not appear on the report card uh, because of the formula that's, that's entered. So you can enter your own, but again, following the same format in which all the other comments are written. You can do that before you start, during, you can customize it while you're working, it's up to you. So now that I've selected all of the comments above, I'm going to then copy the text in here. Don't try to edit the cell directly. And I'm going to paste it here. I'm also going to enter my date. So suppose I send this Now I can edit. So I'm going to look at where I had lines and I'm going to add in some text. Okay, once you've customized the text, you're ready to save the document. So you can save as, I'm going to change it to the name of the student, Tell and Julie, and I'm going to save it as a PDF so it will be ready to send to the family. And then I can see it right here. If you have any difficulties at all with this, please contact Julie Cantillon or Ann Noya. Thank you.